apparently the NFL uh, ordered to pay just under uh, uh, five million dollars to the uh, to the NFL. Okay. Um, uh, so over antitrust laws now um it was alleged that uh it was alleged that uh you know uh you know it was alleged that uh well not alleged it was said that uh YouTube ticket Sunday YouTube lost some money on a Sunday ticket. Uh, I'm gonna pull that up real quick. Uh, so, uh, so they lost some money the first year of the Sunday ticket. So they overpaid. Um, they overpaid. I'm trying to find how much money. Uh, uh, so they lost 1.2 billion. The room. The room. The word is they lost. One two one point two billion dollars, uh, in Sunday ticket, and you know, and this is you know competing against, you know, to get the Sunday ticket and overpaying for it. And annually, they they expected to lose one point two seven billion annually, and I think that's what they lost this year on the Sunday ticket. So overpricing it because you had to overpay for it. It says that the NFL newest media market lose. Nearly nine billion on elite Sunday ticket packs before the decade is out. Although, given the overall state of the alphabet financials, the football uh, football hit may as well be a, a, a rounding error. Having crunched the numbers on YouTube TV's big bet out of the market streaming package, Morgan Stanley's equity research unit projects the service will lose eight point eight point six billion on Sunday ticket between now and twenty twenty nine, with the yearly decline of one point two seven. So it was they lost something similar this year. You know, they lost something similar this year. They lost about a billion dollars or whatever it was. They lost a bunch of money this year on their Sunday ticket. You know, they lost a bunch of money on the Sunday ticket this year. You know, and I just think people like me, I just thought the red zone experience was so much better. When I buy a Sunday ticket with direct TV one year, it wasn't worth it. You really want if I really want to watch a game, I just stream it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me hand you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, me hand you hundreds and hundreds of dollars is, is is ridiculous, especially in a tight economy, especially for one day. You know, but NFL order pay five billion to Sunday ticket lawsuit. The NFL immediately said it would appeal. And no immediate change would occur as the case continues and uh to be litigated. It says if jury found in the field on Thursday a long running lawsuit over how the league distributes its TV broadcast, a decision that could reshape the uh how fans watch the country's most popular sport, a group plaintiff that purchased the NFL Sunday ticket won a judgment of 4.7 billion from the jury, while another group bar owner was awarded 96 billion, both amounts could be tripled because of antitrust laws. It says the NFL immediately said it would pull up appeal. Quote, we disappointed with the jury's verdict today in the NFL Sunday ticket class action lawsuit. The league uh, said in the statement, we continue to believe our media distribution strategy, which features all NFL games broadcast uh, on free over the air television and markets of uh, the participating teams and national distribu- distributions. <laughs> of most popular games supplemented by many additional choices including red zone sunday ticket and nfl plus uh i don't even know what the nfl plus is by is by far the most fan-friendly distribution model of all sports entertainment the case uh centered on the nfl sold a sun uh, how they sold a sunday ticket package to reg tv and satellite tv services sunday ticket is a package that shows the leagues out of market sunday games it says for years the nfl sold the package to direct tv it moved to Google YouTube last year. The plaintiff argued that the NFL selling the games in a single package to distri- to single distributor violates the antitrust laws by not offering consumers more choices and artificially inflating the cost. The league uh, countered that Sunday Ticket is the premium product and the league system for distributing its games allowed most of its games to be available 
on broadcast television. So for the most part, this is a class action lawsuit uh, because they basically cornering the market. They're basically cornering the market and fan and making fans go to Sunday Ticket, making fans go to certain platforms and pay for certain platforms. And um, fans say, you know, they should have more options. You know, and the jury agreed. You know, um, no immediate changes will occur in the continued case of litigated, but Dan Rosher, the economic expert for the plaintiff, said one possible outcome is that the Sunday ticket is sold to multiple companies, potentially lowering the price. And the price is ridiculous. The price is ridiculous. So basically they're saying, I got to pay all this money if I live in Arizona and I want to watch the uh, New York Jets play and I'm a Jets fan. I got to pay all this money to watch this. Like, no. And I, and I only can see them for free when they're the game of the week or, you know, when they choose to put those games up. I understand what they're saying. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, um, now, basically, they would have to give YouTube TV some money back. They would have to give YouTube TV some bread back. So now YouTube has to be, uh, be offered on YouTube. It has to be offered over here. But my thing is YouTube is, is will. My thing about this is YouTube say anybody can buy it. When DirecTV, they had a better, a stronger lawsuit because you had to have DirecTV to get the Sunday ticket, which was dumb to me. Well, YouTube, you cannot have YouTube TV and just buy the Sunday ticket and watch it, the Sunday ticket that way. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, that's what it is. You know, but, uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, they got it. I mean, when they was with direct TV, they had a point. Commissioner, oh, let's see this. He says, uh, the quote, the other outcome is teams can collude on selling their media rights. He said, that means selling their own games and they and you where you'd end up with a lot of games on a lot of channels on Sunday. So basically, um, selling their individual team TV rights, which is crazy. I kind of, I guess it'd be like what Bally Sports do with the NBA and baseball. Commissioner Roger Gill, Dallas Cowboy owner, as well as several team executives were amongst the witnesses called to testify during the three-week trial in Los Angeles. NFL makes around $20 billion annually in its revenue, according to uh, Sportico. So, yep, yeah, I mean, shit, it is what it is. Um, it is what it is, man. So they playing a dirty game. They playing a dirty game, and people basically saying that you know, this ain't fair. We should have more options than to spend all this money. We should have individual options. And, you know, they agreed. They agreed. They agreed. So uh, we'll see where this goes. Of course, they're going to peel and tie it up for a little bit more longer before they had to pay that cash. So we'll see what happens with it. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash at dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link description at the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash at Venmo, PayPal. Uh, check out the Patreon. It's in the link tree. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.